Hi guys, Elpocker77 here and sorry this video will be a bit later than usual as I'm only recording it about 6.30 but I was a bit busy earlier so I'm recording it now. So yesterday I did some more investment videos which hopefully helped a lot of you. I've received a few messages saying that saying from people saying they've bought these players but who else can they invest in? Now I'm going to be bringing out some more investment videos this week, coming week, so don't worry. I would tell you the players that are going to be in this video, but it would be unfair to tell a few people and when everyone else would have to wait for the video. So today we'll be looking at Mexican League Silvers, which can also be turned into a bit of a hybrid, including the MLS. So there's more there's more players I can buy to make it even more of a hybrid, but I prefer it the way it is. And I've had quite a few requests for this league, in, and in particular, a bit of a hybrid with the MLS as well, so I hope this helps. So before I show you the team, I'd like to share with you some of the silvers I've picked up over, over this weekend. Some of, the, some of them you would have seen, I was telling you to invest in earlier, earlier this week. So, see here, the first three here, these three, and that is Inform Leno, Inform Faguli, and Inform Morris Belay. Now these are really good investments, uh, especially this Leno here. I managed to pick him up for a trade offer, which I think I offered Inform Berbatov, who's about 25k, and Inform Frey, goalkeeper, who's about 10k. So overall that offer was only about 35k, and he's been selling for 60k. So if I save him for a bit, I should make some serious profit on that one. Also picked up Inform Faguli here, who's got some really good stats. Don't know if he'll go up much, but I'm going to be using him in my squad anyway. He was 30k. It's also Morris Belay here. Picked him up. I showed you in my other video. I think he was about 35k. But anyway, back to the squad. And for this video, I'm not as prepared as usual. So I haven't been on the Xbox today. So I haven't picked up each of the players' best in-game stats from the Xbox. But I have found them on the database. So they won't be 100% accurate but they'll be quite close, maybe a few few stats, maybe one or two off. But in this team, I'll be playing 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. It's one of my favourite formations for doing skill, and this team, the front four, are amazingly fun to play with, as you can do skills with all of them. So we'll start with the goalkeeper. Let me just find him. Mexican League. That is this goalkeeper. Mikhail, Michelle, something like that. Quite good stats. I think he was up. I don't know if he was the best one. I just picked him up and he's been fine. And I think he was 2.4k. It's quite solid. So you can you can choose whichever goalkeeper you want really. But this is just the one I, I picked up. I think he cost me. Yeah, it was 2.4k. He's quite good. He's not the tallest for a goalkeeper. But he does the job. So for right back... There's quite a few options here. There's the other Perez guy. All of them, all of the right backs are really fast. I mean, 87 pace there, 80, 89 pace. Another option which is like 90 something. But I choose Perez here. He has got. It's mainly speed, really. He's got. He's got. He's a bit more defensive than the other one I'll show you. So you can stick him there. He's got pace. But you could also use this Navarro here, who's 91 pace. But if you compare them, Perez is a lot better stat-wise. If you look, I can't show you on the mouse. But if you look there at 67 defending, 67 heading, compared to the 54 and 55 of Navarro. So I, I prefer to go Perez, a bit slower, but it's fine really. He would cost me 2.2k. Now centre backs are absolute beasts. Really, really fun to play with. And the first one is Basanta here. And he has 82 strength, 80 standing tackles. And for some reason I find him an absolute beast. People I play against, friends I've played against, they don't like playing against him. Somehow he always wins the ball. And he cost me 2.9k. That's really good. Really good centre back. So next one is the Colombian you would have seen, and that is Mosquera. Again, he's an absolute beast. He's got some really good card stats there, and he's 84 strength, and his, all of his defensive in-game stats are about 75 to 80, really. 
then he costs only 2k. So for left back, go for a slightly slower option there, but it's Salcedo. You may have known him. I think he played for Fulham last season. I don't know if he's on loan from Fulham or if he got bought, but he has only got 79 sprint speed, but pretty much all of his other in-game stats, all 70 plus. So all well rounds. if you look here, really good stats. You could even play him centre back if you want. He's got good heading, but I think he cost me 3.5k. There's a lot of options for centre defensive mids, but I'll show you why I chose these options. The first one is Rossane, Brazil Silver. He's got 86 pace there, it's really fast. In game, I think he's only got 82 sprint speed, but 92 acceleration, 90 agility. It's really, really useful to have pace in a centre defensive mid, and that's why he cost me 5.5k. It may, it may have gone up in price now, it may cost you a bit more to get him in this formation, but it's well worth the money. It's really, really useful. Other centre defensive mid actually starts off as a centre attacking mid and he's out of packs. You may have seen my other videos, it's Jimenez or Gimenez, I don't know how they pronounce it in game. But he looks he's more of a centre attacking mid really. He starts as centre attacking mid. But the reason why I choose to play him centre defensive mid is that I find he's fine there because he has got eighty one sprint speed and seventy eight strength, eighty vision. Most of his attacking stats of 75 plus. He's got really good free kicks. Defensively, yeah, he's not the best, but he's got strength, so he does win the ball. And I love him there for his free kicks and his passing, really. And he cost, he only cost me, I got lucky and found him centre defensive mid in this formation for 2.5k. But he'll probably cost you about 7 to 8k maybe to get a centre defensive mid one. But there's some other options centre defensive mid if you want to search the Mexican League and you may find someone you prefer. So centre attacking mid here, this side, go for Bravo, who I think starts off as a centre forward, but he has 92 sprint speed, and the rest of his stats in game don't look don't look amazing at all. But he's such a fun player to use, as he has four star skills, got amazing finishing, and he only cost me 6k. But I think now you're looking more about 10k to get him in centre attacking mid. But he's really really fun. Now next central attacking mid I'm going to go for is upgraded Bermudez. If you look here, there's two Bermudez here, got transferred and upgraded. If you look, they both have exactly the same card stats. 88 pace on both, 78 dribbling on both. The in-game stats of the upgraded one are slightly better. And of course he has been upgraded up one overall. So it may not increase his card stats, but he has got at least two more in every stat than the other Bermudez here. So he fits nicely there. And so yeah, he's an upgraded player, so looks quite good. Card stats relatively the same as the normal one. I could only find the card stats of the normal version, but if the normal version already has 90 acceleration, 94 agility, 94 balance, then the upgraded one is bound to be really good. I've only used him a few times, so I only just picked him up. You saw they had the other one. And he cost me 7.5k, which I think is really good for him. Now the first striker I'm going to use is one of my favourite players again. And this is this Vicente Sanchez. If you look here, his card stats are really amazing. They're similar to the sort of stats you see on Marlos and Pasquato. And to me, he cost me 6k, and that's really, really cheap. As I said, he's out of packs and you may have seen my previous videos on who to invest in you should invest in him he's a really really good player he only cost me about 6k but I picked up loads of them for about 1 2k a few weeks ago but now you're looking at paying about 10k maybe as maybe as I've picked a few up and loads more of you would have picked him up he should rise to about 15 20k he was going for 30k at one point but get one now while he's at 10k and He's got four star skills, left footed, cut in. He's amazing. Our last player I'm going to show you, a lot of you probably heard of him, and that is Deiro Moreno. Now, his card stats there, they don't look amazing. He's not the fastest striker you would have seen. Only 76 pace. Thinking game, he's only got 72 sprint speed. He's got really good, really good shooting. 
long shots are amazing, his finesse shots are amazing, and he has five star skills. So you can do all the skills you want, and he's really, really fun to play with. He's right footed, so he can cut in, and he cost me 9k, so that's an absolute steal. I've heard that he may be coming out of packs because he has moved to a different team, but I don't know if EA's got round to it, so he's worth picking up, and he fits nicely there. So what's really fun about this team is that it's so easy to cut in and score as Sanchez and Brava here, they're both left footers playing on the right so they can cut in and you've got here Bermudez and Moreno, they're right footed and they're playing on the left so they can cut in. So if you want to see the other variation of this team, we just change the defence a little bit and you can make it a bit of a hybrid, it's not really, I wouldn't call it a proper hybrid but you can fit Russell here at right back he's a really good player I think he cost me 2k he's fast really he's a bit of a beast you can also fit Olav here who will link there they play for the same team so they'll both be on 9 chemistry and Colombian link there Olav's got really good stats here 79 pace 80 defending 70 heading he's an absolute beast he cost me about 2k but he might cost you more about 5k now but he has got good pace for a centre back and the goalkeeper, so there aren't really many choices for Colombian goalkeepers, but this Mondragon guy, he fits there. And that fits there nicely. Save that. So overall, either of these teams, whether you choose to make the Mexican League only or whether you choose the variation and go with different defence, will cost you roughly the same, so it doesn't really matter. You may like to do what I've done and picked up both the different both different types. So you can change it around. Sometimes I use this hybrid here. Sometimes I just use the Mexican League. But overall, this team only cost me 50k. That was back when a few of the prices were lower, though. So nowadays, more likely to this seems more likely to cost you about 65, maybe 75k at the most, depending on changing that like centre attacking mid to centre defensive mid. You can. If you have a bit more money, you may want to try out a few of the informs. There's an inform here, Bueno, he's a really good striker, but I found him a bit slow. I paid about 50k for him, but sadly he's only about 25k now. That's because of his pace. He's got 80 shooting, 80 heading. He's worth trying out. He fits there nicely. Get the Uruguayan link. This Sejas guy, he was in form the other week. I haven't used him yet, but maybe worth picking up. You can get him for about 10k. I've heard p other people have used him. He hasn't been that good, but he may be worth trying out. And the last one, I haven't got him, but you may want to try him out, and that is an inform Fabian. You may have seen him. He, Mexican, centre attacking mid. I tried him, but I found him really slow, and I found Bermudez a lot better, so I'd stick with Bermudez. So I hope this video will inspire you to make Mexican League silvers, as they're really fun to play with. I've got four. Four star skillers there, five star skiller, really fun if you're good at skills. Uh, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your opinions on my recent videos. And cheers, guys.